25 days remaining to either trade or release Derek Carr. The saga continues. We talk about that and other Raider-related news right here next on Hammer's House. The United States are strongly encouraged to shelter in place to avoid being attacked or taken hostage. To shelter in place, take the following precautions. Close all windows and doors and all lights. Welcome to the official, the original, the only house for Las Vegas Raiders news, rumors, updates, live streams, and reactions. Welcome to Hammer's House. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday wherever you guys are at. Earlier this morning on NFL Countdown, ESPN's Adam Schefter reported that at some point this offseason, earlier rather than later, Derek Carr is expected to be traded. The veteran quarterback has three more years on his current contract, but was benched the final two games of the 2022 season, and at this point is set to make $40 million guaranteed if he's still on the Raiders roster come February 15th. Like we said in the opening, 25 days left until an ultimate decision is made. There are a lot of teams that are interested at this point in time, the entire NFC South, the Washington Commanders, the New York Jets, and the and the Indianapolis Colts are majority of the teams that are interested for Derek Carr services. Now, moving forward, Josh McDaniels has stated that he really wants a veteran quarterback to be the starter of this franchise this coming 2023-2024 season. There are a lot of people that are out there, Tom Brady being one of them. Everybody has been extremely high and wanting Tom Brady to come here. A lot of different things that we've seen throughout social media over the last couple of days, it seems like it's pointing in that direction. Lamar Jackson, per Eric DaCosta, the GM of the Ravens, said that Lamar Jackson will not be on the board. Lamar Jackson is either going to get a lengthy deal with the Baltimore Ravens or even being franchise tagged. Aaron Rodgers is another guy that's out there. That would be via trade. He's owed about $60 million this coming season. Don't really think that that necessarily is going to be the route that the Raiders go, especially when it comes to a cap space of just a little bit over $70 million. We don't want to blow our load on one player going into this coming season. In other non-related Raider news, the Indianapolis Colts finished another interview for their head, their vacant head coaching position. They interviewed former special teams and interim head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders, Rich Passaccia. Now, the Colts have been going through a whole lot of ups and downs throughout this season. They fired head coach Frank uh, Reich after week nine. They hired interim head coach Jeff Saturday, who in his first game uh, as a professional coach in the NFL, defeated the Las Vegas Raiders. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't already, if it's your first time in here, please don't let it be your last. Break them thumbs, hit them subs, smash the bell. And you could also catch me on Instagram and you can catch me on Twitter as well. We will be live tomorrow, NFL Divisional Playoffs. We will be covering tomorrow's playoff games. You guys don't want to miss it. Continue to stay safe. Most importantly, be kind to one another. COVID is still around. Remember to wash your hands and your asses. And as always, win, lose, or tie. Raider Nation, till I die. Till next time, y'all. We out.